You're watching Hot Facts with Robert Reese. All right, so before you watch this video, I just want you to know that uh, Pedro Dordas Santiago is one of the most disrespectful human beings I have ever uh, encountered. Uh, he calls people miserable. He calls them clowns. He calls me a clown for taking people orders because I take 96% to 99% of my orders that I get. He calls me a clown for taking it to people who may need uh, to get it. They may have something special issues going on or just like that. Um, but he is the most disrespectful. If you watch my videos, just go to my pan go, just go to my channel, excuse me, and um, type up Pedro Dordas Santiago on my video list and just type up uh, his name. And look, I have countless videos like with him threatening to kick UDM out of the gig economy, with him ranting, him going crazy, him going crazy at, uh, at Instacart inside the Costco, almost throwing stuff down, cursing. This dude is a nutcase. And uh, he has the nerve to call me something men mental. Now, I just wanna throw this at you, uh, Pedro. Since you do have a family member that might be a dwarf, a midget, or a little person, if that person needs something ordered or delivered because they need something, what if they take medication? You just called your own family member, member a miserable human being. You just called them a miserable human being. You call people that. You say we don't deliver to people who live close because they're clowns. We don't deliver to people who are not gonna tip us up front even though we're gonna give them bad service. I got a group of people that wanna talk to you face to face next week on camera and you're backing out people. Now here's the backstory why. All right now, so Pedro Dordas Santiago is at it again. Supposed to be getting this panel thing going. I finally got everyone going. I told him I'm gonna make sure everyone is right. It's gonna be a really good uh, panel and um, we're gonna get it going. Now he says, I'm mentally, uh, I'm mentally unbalanced because I defend myself. He says, I'm mentally unbalanced because I wanted to ask a question if I should ask someone if they were a midget or not. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. I have a background and uh, where I have to actually medically check people out, work with people with many different disorders. When I look at people, I'm looking at people way more different than you. So that's what gave me the urge to even want to ask that, but I did not. Because people like you, oh, I have a cousin that's a mid midget. I do too. I still wanted to ask. So, so he's saying that he doesn't want to do the panel anymore because of that. Um, so I don't know. And then, then he says, well, you're a person that you have your family watch your YouTube videos inside your house. I think that's weird. So, you know, he's doing everything else like this because I have a panel of people and they are all professional and business minded. They all run their own business. They all have everything else like that. So when it comes down time to talk about real business, these people are going to be talking about the real stuff. I got people that are also drivers and people that don't drive and they are established business people and they are customers also. He doesn't want to face these people because he's scary. He's calling me names and all this other stuff. I told him I got the um, panel ready. We're waiting on you and we want to do it next week. Now he's backing out. And now he's writing me saying I'm mentally unbalanced and all this other stuff. And then he says, he said this, I have a channel that has no traction. I almost have 700,000 views in six months. I have acquired 3,100 and something subs in six months. That's traction. A lot of people watch my shorts. Okay. A lot of them. Also, go look up Schuler King, very, very famous comedian. My stuff is being suggested on his cha channel, on Steve Harvey's channel, the talk shows and stuff. People that talk about political issues, black issues, human issues. My channel is suggested over there. Not just in the gig world, because I talk about real stuff. But he doesn't want to come on anymore, people. He says no. He does not want to come on anymore and do the panel that he's been crying for. I can show you the text messages. He's been crying for it. Now that I have it up and I have all the participants, he does not want to do it because he used, you wanted to ask a question if someone was a mid midget. So that offended me so much. I think your channel is cringe worthy. I don't think anything you say is whatever, but there's a lot of people that come and watch. 
I am on other channels with people that have 300,000 subscribers. I am on the panel with these people. Why am I on the panel with these people and you are not? It's because the stuff I say is real and it's not cringe worthy. It's not cringe worthy. It's not. But you look, he's texting me now. If you would listen, I would help you. But you don't get how YouTube works. This dude is ridiculous. You don't get how YouTube works. Look, he's texting me this. He texts me right now, texting me this stuff. I understand how YouTube works. I get out there and I get the attention of people. That's who controls YouTube. That's it. But he's backing out. He's backing out right now. He's backing out. He said he's not going to text me anymore. He said he's going to block me so I so, so, um, so he can't go back and forth. When I'm bringing out the numbers of people that watch me and who my channel is suggested by, uh, he, he now wants to go back and forth, people. This thing is not going to be going down. He's backing out, and I'm trying to get it done next week because we have all the participants. Even if he does back out, I still have seven participants who will be on. So, people, this was a service announcement, and I'm keeping you guys updated. This dude is weird. He said, I have mental issues. I'm mentally unbalanced because I handle myself. 